because they've got feelings. Do you know what I mean? I agree. You can't look at an animal without seeing a soul. I agree. Well, no, because you can farm in a humane way, like you can farm crops. We like to eat meat. Nature, we can't change nature, we haven't got the teeth. Uh, I actually almost can't watch it. So that's a good indication yes. that we shouldn't be paying for it. Yeah. Would you agree? Yeah. If you said we're going to fight animal rights over an environment issue, it's not fair for the individual animals. If I bred dogs specifically for dog fighting, would that be okay? No way. No way. It's exactly the same system. No. This is not a journey, it's a decision. So why do you think we should treat animals nicely? Because they've got feelings. They're, do you know what I mean? I agree. You can't look at an animal without seeing a soul. I agree. I think you put that very well. Yeah. Even so, though the ultimate thing is to eventually kill them and eat them. But yeah, why suffer yeah, until then, you know? Well, yes. why does that have to be the ultimate thing? We like, we like to eat meat. We like, we like to eat meat. We like to eat meat. With a lot of us like to eat. Tradition, I think, actually, yeah. isn't it? It does seem like that's... We need to sort and of change. We can't obviously... Yeah. Nature, we can't change nature. We have got the teeth. Well, we can't appeal to nature. If we appeal to nature, it's a very dangerous path Not to go down. Part, but obviously, it's like we a lot of things happen in nature that we wouldn't put to ourselves. Like yes. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if we say, oh, it's natural, yeah. we could say, well, all of these other horrible things are natural, so we can't yeah. use nature. No. Tradition and taste, I think, yeah. is that you hit the two points. Yeah. But if you were the victim, if I said I traditionally did it and I like it, would you accept that as a justification if it was you that was going into the slaughterhouse? No. I, I, I think, you know, you make a conscious effort to be aware of what you're doing and to maybe slowly make that change. Again, if you were the victim, would you expect that change to be slow or would you want your oppression to stop immediately? Immediately. immediately. So why do you think we should take a different approach for the animals? Because in your own eye, in your own words, they have a soul, they are somebody and they do matter. Why should we take a slow approach to liberating them rather than let's actually just stop contributing to their suffering? What would, you do, what, what would happen to all the cows and that? So what would happen is there would be a shift of people. At the moment, we breed 80 billion land animals into existence every year to stab them, chop them, them to pieces and eat them. That would gradually come down. So as the vegans went up, the, the animals being bred into existence would come down and you'd be left with sort of a residual amount of animals left from the industries with a whole load of vegans who are quite happy to put them in sanctuaries and look after them. The other, the other thing I'm thinking of, if everyone went vegan, would there be enough water to water all the plants that everyone's going to be eating? So when you look at it from an environmental point of view, that's an injustice for the victim and I'll explain why. I'm not dismissing what you're saying, but I'm coming from an animal rights point of view, so I'm going to explain why. If I said to you that I wouldn't traffic children because it's bad for the environment, you'd say, hang on, the, the injustice is for the child. So if, I, if you said we're going to fight animal rights with an environment issue, it's not fair for the individual animals. What I will say, I'm going to give you a card in a minute, which will tie up health and environment as well as animal rights. Because if we stopped um, what we do to doing to animals, it would benefit human health and it would benefit the environment. But what I would say is there is no humane way to take the life of someone who doesn't want to die. And if you watch any of the footage, you see every single animal is struggling for their life. Oh, I know. I actually almost can't watch it. So that's a good indication yes. that we shouldn't be paying for it. Yes. Would you agree? Yeah, I, I would say you're right. I think, I think you sound so compassionate. You sound like you yeah. have all the ethics are there. Yeah. What's gonna, um, what's stopping you even actioning your ethics and being vegan? Laziness. Okay, you know what I'm gonna say, don't you? Don't be lazy. I'm gonna say, if you were the victim and I said, I just can't be bothered, how would you feel? Because this is a reality, right? Well, lucky for us, then we're not being shoved into a truck and being transported. Of course, but let's say, let's say hypothetically, and in an empathetic state, you was. Yeah. Imagine what, because this is a reality yeah, for yeah, them. Sure. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. So, but, so but if you was, at the end of the day, it's down to farming methods. Well, no, because yeah. you can farm in a humane way, like you can farm crops. Yeah. Like we're not yeah. against yeah. farming. Yeah. 
Um, and you can do better levels of farming, like veganic farming. Yeah, they are uh, There's somebody. Yeah. There are somebody. Yeah. And, you know, uh, yeah, we do, we do like vegan. And I like what they... I think I, I really enjoy living in somewhere like Brighton because we do have lots of vegan places. Of course. We've introduced such wonderful, like the, what they do with vegetables and the, the things, and that's that's really lovely. Of you know? course. And we do in, we do feel better when we have a nice meal. Yeah. Of the you know without any meat in it of or, course or dairy yeah, of course, that's yeah, harder yeah. actually is which one the dairy do you know why because we put the cheese sauce on everything but you know what there's a genuine reason why and it is to do with you're a mammal okay yeah so's a cow and you are still breastfeeding from another species and within that breast milk there's a hormone called case of morphine and it's designed to link the calf to the mum because the calf has been removed and killed and you're consuming the cheese, the yogurts, the butter, or the milk, yeah. that a case of morphine hormone keeps drawing you back to things. So it's a genuine thing. But what I would say is, when you look at the victim, it's easy to stop like that. Yeah. The whole the time. Animals, yeah. like animals have been bred for a certain purpose, like dairy cows. Yes. If they don't get milk, obviously, then they start suffering. Okay, then. I'm gonna give you another analogy. If I bred dogs, Specifically for dog fighting, would that be okay? No way. No way. It's exactly the same system. No. It's exactly the same. I'm throwing these analogies out, not to trick you, but to be controversial. That's absolutely fine. I'm throwing them out there to align whether your morals are consistent or not. Because I'm sure you'd say, no, we can't, we can't breed dogs to fight dogs. But then that's called speciesism. So, I'm going to take a picture of this. Take a picture. <laughs> well, I'd like it Would you like a picture with me as well? Yeah, Come on, it. let's, in, let's in get a picture. Background. So, you're, you're never going to forgive a day you went vegan. Yeah. There we go. Well, yeah. Okay, well, we're still <laughs> thinking about it anyway, so, uh, but. Yeah. We're always being reminded right. about it. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, thank you for a good conversation. Really important. I'd like to give you and this. We will try. We, we, we do try, but we we'll try even harder. Yeah. I'm going to leave you with one last sentence, yes. okay? Now, this card here, yeah. you've got a website and a code to get into it, and there's lots of documentaries. Yeah. Please educate yourself on everything. Don't okay. take my word for it. No. Look into it all, all as you can. Well, the other okay. thing as well, but, I do work in a fried chicken shop as well. Chaz, don't but tell them that. What I want to leave you with is the whole time you're thinking of it. Skilled. The whole time you're thinking of it, yeah. and the whole time you're considering it, and the whole time you're reducing. Yes. Animals are still going into them sort of houses for you directly. Okay. It's not a journey, it's a decision. We wouldn't That's accept it. it. I couldn't say, do you know what? I used to be the biggest racist. I'm now only racist on a Monday. Oh, yeah. See, see the same analogy? Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you for talking to me, guys. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.